Mariner 6 was a NASA spacecraft that was designed to study Mars during its flyby in 1969. It was launched on February 24, 1969, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and flew past Mars on July 31, 1969. The primary objectives of Mariner 6 were to study the Martian atmosphere, surface, and environment using a suite of scientific instruments on board the spacecraft. The Mariner 6 spacecraft had a total weight of 411 kilograms and was powered by solar panels. It was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including a television camera, an infrared radiometer, an ultraviolet spectrometer, and a radio science experiment. These instruments were used to measure the temperature, pressure, and composition of the Martian atmosphere and to study the surface features of the planet. The television camera on board Mariner 6 was the first instrument to capture close-up images of Mars. It took a total of 75 images during its flyby, which provided valuable information about the planet's surface features, including the first detailed images of the Martian polar ice caps. The images also showed that the Martian surface was covered in craters and that there were large dust storms on the planet. The infrared radiometer on board Mariner 6 was used to measure the temperature of the Martian surface. The instrument revealed that the surface temperature varied widely depending on the time of day and the location on the planet. It also showed that the polar ice caps were made of frozen carbon dioxide and water. The ultraviolet spectrometer on board Mariner 6 was used to study the composition of the Martian atmosphere. The instrument revealed that the atmosphere was composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with small amounts of nitrogen and argon. It also showed that the atmosphere was much thinner than that of Earth and that it was losing gas to space at a rapid rate. The radio science experiment on board Mariner 6 was used to study the structure and density of the Martian atmosphere. The experiment involved transmitting radio signals from the spacecraft to Earth, which were then bounced off the Martian atmosphere and back to Earth. By measuring the time it took for the signals to travel back and forth, scientists were able to determine the density and temperature of the atmosphere at different altitudes. Overall, the data collected by Mariner 6 provided scientists with a wealth of new information about Mars. It revealed that the planet had a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, that the surface was covered in craters and dust storms, and that the polar ice caps were made of frozen carbon dioxide and water. This information laid the groundwork for future missions to Mars and helped to increase our understanding of the planet's environment and history. Mariner 6 was part of the larger Mariner program, which was a series of spacecraft launched by NASA in the 1960s and 1970s to study the inner solar system. The Mariner program included missions to Venus, Mars, and Mercury and was instrumental in advancing our understanding of these planets and their environments. The Mariner 6 mission was not without its challenges. During its flyby of Mars, the spacecraft experienced several technical difficulties, including a malfunction in the onboard tape recorder and problems with the radio science experiment. Despite these challenges, the mission was considered a success and provided valuable data that helped to advance our understanding of Mars. In addition to its scientific achievements, the Mariner 6 mission was also significant from a technological standpoint. The spacecraft was the first to use solar panels as a power source, which provided a more efficient and reliable way to generate electricity than the batteries used on previous missions. Today, the Mariner 6 spacecraft remains in orbit around the Sun, where it will continue to travel indefinitely. Although the spacecraft is no longer operational, it serves as a reminder of NASA's early exploration of the inner solar system and its contributions to our understanding of Mars and other planets. One of the most notable discoveries made by Mariner 6 was the confirmation of the presence of a thin atmosphere on Mars. This was a significant finding because it had previously been thought that Mars had no atmosphere at all. The data collected by Mariner 6 showed that the Martian atmosphere was composed mostly of carbon dioxide and that it was much thinner than Earth's atmosphere. Another important discovery made by Mariner 6 was the identification of two distinct types of craters on the Martian surface. These included small, bowl-shaped craters and larger, flat-bottomed craters. The data collected by the spacecraft showed that the small craters were likely formed by impactors that had a low angle of incidence, while the larger craters were likely formed by impactors with a high angle of incidence. The images captured by the television camera onboard Mariner 6 also provided scientists with valuable information about the Martian polar ice caps. The images showed that the polar ice caps were made of frozen carbon dioxide and water, which helped to confirm earlier observations made by ground-based telescopes. One of the major challenges faced by the Mariner 6 mission was the limited amount of time available for data collection. The spacecraft was only able to make measurements during its flyby of Mars, which lasted for just a few hours. Despite this limitation, 
the mission was able to collect a significant amount of data that has helped to shape our understanding of Mars. The Mariner 6 mission was followed by several other missions to Mars, including the Mariner 7 mission, which also flew by the planet in 1969. These missions provided a wealth of new data about Mars and helped to pave the way for future missions, including the Viking missions in the 1970s and the more recent Mars Exploration Rovers and Mars Science Laboratory missions. In addition to its scientific contributions, the Mariner 6 mission was also significant in terms of its impact on the public's imagination. The images captured by the spacecraft were widely circulated in the media and helped to spark a renewed interest in space exploration. The Mariner 6 spacecraft was designed and built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California. JPL has played a leading role in many of NASA's robotic missions to the solar system and beyond, including the Mars rovers and the Cassini mission to Saturn. The Mariner 6 spacecraft was powered by a rocket engine that was fueled by a combination of hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. This propulsion system provided the spacecraft with enough thrust to escape Earth's gravity and make the journey to Mars. The Mariner 6 mission was launched during a period of intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union in the field of space exploration. The Soviet Union had already achieved several notable milestones, including the first satellite in orbit, Sputnik, and the first human spaceflight, Yuri Gagarin. Despite the challenges faced by the Mariner 6 mission, it was widely regarded as a success and helped to cement NASA's reputation as a leader in space exploration. Today, NASA continues to explore the solar system and beyond, using robotic missions to study planets, asteroids, and other celestial objects. In conclusion, the Mariner 6 mission was a significant milestone in the history of space exploration. It provided valuable data about Mars, including the first close-up images of the planets. Surface and the confirmation of the presence of a thin atmosphere, the mission also helped to pave the way for future missions to Mars and other planets in the solar system. One of the unique features of the Mariner 6 mission was the use of a television camera to capture images of the Martian surface. This was the first time that a spacecraft had been equipped with a camera capable of transmitting images back to Earth in real time. The images captured by the camera were of relatively low resolution, but they provided scientists with a valuable glimpse of the Martian landscape. The Mariner 6 spacecraft was launched on February 25, 1969, aboard an Atlas Centaur rocket. The launch took place from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and was the first of two launches planned for that year. The Mariner 7 spacecraft was launched just a few days later and also flew by Mars later that year. During its journey to Mars, the Mariner 6 spacecraft traveled more than 290 million kilometers, 180 million miles, and made several course corrections to ensure that it would arrive at the correct location. The spacecraft's trajectory was carefully calculated to ensure that it would pass within 3,500 kilometers, 2,200 miles, of the Martian surface. Once the spacecraft arrived at Mars, it began to collect data about the planet using a suite of scientific instruments. These instruments included a magnetometer, which measured the strength and direction of the planet's magnetic field, and an infrared radiometer, which measured the temperature of the planet's surface. In addition to its scientific instruments, the Mariner 6 spacecraft also carried several engineering experiments designed to test new technologies for future missions. These experiments included a cosmic dust detector, which measured the impact of small particles on the spacecraft's surface, and a charged particle detector, which measured the flux of energetic particles in space. The Mariner 6 mission was notable for its success in navigating through the Martian environment. The spacecraft was able to fly through the thin Martian atmosphere and collect data at close range, despite the challenges posed by the planet's strong gravity and variable winds. The data collected by the Mariner 6 spacecraft helped to refine our understanding of the Martian environment and paved the way for future missions to explore the planet. Today, NASA continues to study Mars using robotic missions, including the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, MAVEN, mission, and the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover. The Mariner 6 mission was also significant in terms of its impact on public awareness of space exploration. The mission was covered extensively by the media and helped to inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers. In recognition of its contributions to the field of space exploration, the Mariner 6 spacecraft was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1990. The spacecraft is currently on display at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, where it serves as a reminder of the pioneering work done by NASA and its partners in the exploration of the solar system. One of the key findings from the Mariner 6 mission was the discovery of seasonal changes on Mars. 
the spacecraft's infrared radiometer detected significant variations in the temperature of the Martian surface, which were later linked to changes in the planet's polar ice caps. This discovery helped to establish the idea that Mars is a dynamic and changing planet, rather than a static and unchanging one. Another important contribution of the Mariner 6 mission was the discovery of a thin, but detectable, atmosphere on Mars. This was the first direct evidence that Mars had an atmosphere, and it provided scientists with new insights into the planet's geology and climate. The spacecraft's magnetometer also detected small fluctuations in the planet's magnetic field, which suggested the presence of localized magnetic fields on the Martian surface. The Mariner 6 mission also provided new insights into the history of the solar system. The spacecraft's cosmic dust detector recorded impacts from small particles, which provided valuable information about the distribution of dust and debris in the solar system. This data helped to confirm theories about the origin and evolution of the solar system, and it provided important context for future missions to explore the outer reaches of our cosmic